Alright guys, we may as well address the possibility of an imposter being in Super Smash Bros, okay? I know what you're thinking, and it is a long shot since they barely have hands, but I've got it all figured out. His forward smash attack will be a spike out of his mouth, his neutral B will just be him shooting a gun, his grab attack will be breaking the opponent's neck and slamming him to the ground, and his final smash will be the emergency button where the game just freezes and all the opponents appear in the voting screen. All you gotta do is just vote for the player you want to be eliminated. It's a stretch, but you know it's not the weirdest idea you've ever heard. It's obvious that Nintendo will just add any character that they want in this game. And I mean any character. Among Us is a 2D online multiplayer game created by Inner Sloth. In this game, you and your friends play as a bunch of crew members on a spaceship with a shape-shifting alien on board. Your objective is to do all these tasks and figure out who the alien is before all your crewmates end up dead. Now I'ma just point out the obvious right now and say that playing as an imposter is definitely the funnest part of the game, especially if you do it correctly. What's very important is that you have to be good at lying, otherwise you'll look like an idiot when you get caught killing people. Okay. Okay, so we know exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was I, Austin. I just, it was literally watched. Austin. You just killed him in front of me! What Shut up, Austin. Him? Shut up, Austin. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> it was Marshall, you. you But it's still fun to play as a crew member too, because it feels like you're playing as a detective as well. I'm a big fan of mysteries, and this game produces an exciting fashion of a classic whodunit through the use of social deduction. I also like how you can customize your own character with different colors and crazy hats, and even your own sidekick. What surprised me at first was how this game was released back in 2018, but didn't become popular till 2020. Now the reason why Among Us is so popular now is because many famous YouTubers and Twitch streamers have started playing this game. But my guess as to why it was so silent for two years is because it was just another small indie game that looks decent, but isn't as immersive as one would expect. I bet at first glance people thought it was just a game where you have to do a bunch of chores, and if you refuse to do them, you die. But I do enjoy performing the tasks in this game because they're basically just mini games that only take a minute at best. However, it tends to get pretty annoying when you get interrupted, because then you'll have to start all over again. Oh my god! They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. What's also cool is how you can customize the game settings so you can play in whatever way you want. There's this one game where me and my friends played hide and seek, and if you were the imposter, your vision was toned down. So anyone in your short line of sight, you would have to kill. Were you just standing? Uh, thank you. You're welcome. That felt bittersweet because you wanted to die. <laughs> But since everybody's been quarantined, multiplayer games have skyrocketed in the past few months, and the creators of Among Us got really lucky with all the traction it's been gaining. You could argue that COVID-19 was another factor to the game's sudden popularity, because people nowadays will literally play anything with their friends. Oh, give me your ass, at T. I will claim your ass for Mother Stop Russia. It. Stop it. Do you see my Viking hat? No. My name is uh... Morak. Now, will this be another one of those games that will die out really fast in, say, like a few weeks? Probably? It, it, it's hard to say, but but they are making a second Among Us simply for the new game servers to be built from scratch, rather than updated into the original game. The reason there's a second game is because the first one was so popular and the game servers were not ready for it at all. The people who made Among Us have openly admitted that it was not created to be this big, and fixing it all would be harder than just making a new game. Hence, Among Us 2! A second Among Us doesn't sound that bad. Maybe they'll add some new features like more wacky hats, more sidekicks, or even more maps even though we can all agree that the Skeld is the best map. Now when it comes to popular online multiplayer games, I feel like making sequels rather than just updating the original game seems kinda pointless. But I can take this as an exception because it might prolong the popularity of this game. And who knows, maybe we will get an imposter as a playable Smash character. Seriously though, when he enters the stage, his animation can just be him popping out of a vent. Like, this is still a stretch, but it could actually work. You're welcome, Nintendo. But in conclusion, this game is a good practice of strategy and critical thinking. It is absolutely a great game to play with friends, and for a $5 indie game, it deserves the praise that it's gotten after two years of silence. Although playing with a hundred people doesn't really seem that good of an idea. Many, many minutes later. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine.
but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Follow me on all my other social media if you want to see more of my good stuff. And also feel free to follow me on Twitch if you want to chat with me live while I'm playing some games. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, always remember the name, T-Lander.